Did you know that this African pop created Valentine's Day? You can be forgiven for never having heard of the pop by the name of Saint Gelasius I. Gelasius became pop in 492 AD. Pope Gelasius was African. He belonged to the Berber tribe of North Africa. The Berbers lived in North Africa long before the Arab came. Pope Gelasius came from the Roman province of Africa, which is now known as modern-day Tunisia, Algeria, Mauritania, and Libya. Back then, the Roman Empire extended to cover some parts of North Africa. Pope Gelasius had radical views and proposed several changes to the Catholic Church at that time. He is remembered for insisting that bishops use one-fourth of their revenue for charity. He is quoted as saying, Nothing is more becoming to the priestly office than the protection of the poor and the weak. Pope Gelasius I is also remembered as having arranged the standard mass book and composed some church hymns. So how did he declare the celebration of St. Valentine as a day set aside for lovers? There is actually a very interesting legend behind that too. Here is the legend. Back then, there was this strange festival. The festival was called Festival of Lupasalia. It involved the sacrifice of a goat whose skin would be dipped into sacrificial blood, then used to slap the bodies of women so that they can become fertile for the coming year. To begin the festival, members of the Lupesai, an order of Roman priests, would gather at a sacred cave where the infants Romulus and Ramus, the founders of Rome, were believed to have been cared for by a she-wolf. The priests would sacrifice a goat for fertility and a dog for purification. They would then strip the goat's hide into strips dip them into the sacrificial blood, and take to the streets, lashing both women and crop fields with the goat skin. Roman women loved this and welcomed the lashing of the bloody skins because it was believed to make them more fertile in the coming year. Later in the day, according to legion, all the unmarried women in the city would place their names in a big jar the city's unmarried men would each choose a name and become paired for the year with this chosen woman. These matches often ended in marriages. However, Pope Gelasius did not like this. He believed that festivals such as Lupasalia took the focus away from Christianity and caused people to fall back on their pagan roots. However, the Pope also knew that he needed to replace the old festival with something new. So he decided that February 14th would be the day to celebrate St. Valentine. It is said the Pope Gelasius was a very eloquent speaker. It's however important to note that some medieval historians refute that Pope Gelasius was the one who replaced Lupasalia with St. Valentine's celebrations. Pope Gelasius died on November 19th, 496 AD. You can read more about Pope St. Gelasius I in these books. I did, Captain,